In this video, we're going to look at the stencil technique. And what we'll do to get started is create a new design. And we'll turn off the cut, embroidery, crystals, and paint technique, and just leave on stencil technique and say create new design. Now, any shape or line that you can create could be cut as a stencil. And maybe to get started, I'll just create a few shapes. So, you know, here's a star shape and maybe an ellipse shape. Um, and then I can even use my sort of drawing tool and draw myself, um, well, first of all, just an open line. And maybe I'll also draw, my, draw myself kind of um, a closed shape. So when a shape is closed, it means I drew a line that had the last point connect to the first point and therefore it's um, got a fill and an outline. You know, as opposed to the line that I drew where it simply has the outline. Now, remember, we're in the stencil technique and all of these shapes are currently turned on to be cut as stencils. Now, the difference is, take a close look here um, where I cut, I drew this line, but the stencil outline that you can see is actually on the inside and the outside of it. So what it's done is it's taken the line that we drew and given it a width and we could adjust that. There's a setting. So right now it's at 1.6 millimeters and if you like, you can make it three millimeters and AKA there's more space there. So that's how you can take a line and convert it into a stencil outline. Now, all the other shapes that we made, they are set as stencils, but the software simply thinks that we're going to cut that shape out and then this would be the fab or the material out here and it would be a hole in there for stenciling um, which is great but what if you you know sometimes you want to keep this you want to create a stencil outline of your shape and so in that case what we can do is we can actually use the edit shape nodes tool to interact with our shape and what we're in essence what we're going to do is we're going to sort of break the outline of it so that it isn't a completed shape as it is here. So we select on edit shape nodes and first of all this is the shape that I drew and you can see all the nodes that I you know clicked to digitize the shape and I could select any one of those nodes and move them or add them or delete them you know whatever you want to do with them. Now notice that I can also move my cursor along the line in between the nodes. So wherever you want, I could I could right click anywhere along the line and choose to do any number of things from add a node or delete nodes or smooth my nodes. But in this case, what I want to do is choose stencil bridge. And so what it's done is it's actually broken my shape up and added a stencil bridge. So now I still have that shape, but the inside material is connected to the outside material and therefore I can stencil this outline instead of the actual filled in shape. Now, if you were actually gonna cut the stencil out, it might be a, you know more appropriate to have it, have a few stencil bridges, right? So you would select it and then choose your edit shape node tool and go in and say, well, maybe I'll add one here and maybe one more you know down here or something like that and so you can insert you know as many stencil bridges as you like and the end result is that the center is easily connected to the outside and yet it cuts out that shape so it's really the same now those are shapes that i drew you know for example with the star there might be one more step necessary because of course if i choose edit shape nodes on the star I get the control points that allow me to do things like change the ray size, um, you know, or the start position of it. So what I'm saying is if I want to be able to add a stencil bridge, see if I right click now, I don't get the option for add a stencil bridge. I need to first select this shape and then right click and I need to ask it to do something called convert to curves. And what that'll do, it'll take the star which was understood by the software as a star with the settings of the star shape tool and creates it just into a shape in general that it just happens to be a shape of a star, but it's no longer interactive. In other words, if I go to edit shape nodes now, I simply have nodes for all of the shapes or the corner points that made this star. And if I grab on one of them and move them, it just moves that one point now. It doesn't you know, move the rest of them as it did before. So that's great. Now same idea if I want to break this apart I could now right click on any node and say add a stencil bridge you know and you can add them anywhere you want within the design right click and say stencil bridge and so you know you need to add several stencil bridges 
to make this star shape kind of hold together if you're trying to create a stencil outline for it. So yeah, they added several stencil bridges and then you know maybe you want to make the outline wider so just change your settings and then all of those things are about creating stencils. So here I have a stencil where it's literally just going to cut the shape and we're going to have you know whatever paint or whatever you're doing with your stencil is going to go right through the whole shape whereas this one it's just going to stencil the outline of the star or the outline of the little kidney bean or the outline of my line and so whenever you're happy with the stencils that you've created as always we say file and export two cutters and connect to our cutting machine and then we interact with our cutting machine and so you can clearly see here now that i've got you know everything set in one color and you can see that I've got a stencil outline for the star and a stencil outline for the little kidney bean and this line, but yet sort of a full open stencil for that ellipse shape. So yeah, that's how it works. And that is how you can use creative drawings to design stencil designs.